Hey y'all and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am Yvora Bentley, Faith and Wealth Coach, helping others to change their mind so that they can then begin to see the world change around them. I am an entrepreneur, a licensed life insurance broker, a licensed healthcare Medicare agent. I'm a holistic healer coach. Excuse me y'all, I just finished eating my watermelon for breakfast. So I came on here really quickly before I have to jump on some Zoom calls and webinars and start to work on some policies for my clients. I want to share something with you and I want to talk about poverty, right? I want to talk about the poverty mindset and also an encounter when I meet people when it comes to life insurance and things that they have said to me. So, oh my goodness. I'm not even, I was about to just share with y'all my background, where I came from, and I, I'll, I'll just get a little bit into that. But let me share this. So I had an encounter recently. I've had several of these encounters, but I've never had somebody tell me what this gentleman told me. So a lot of people, when it comes to life insurance, they'll say stuff like, oh, I'm gonna be going home to glory. I'm not worried about it. It don't matter. They can do whatever with my body. Well, a lot of clients that I have, they understand and they know that even though the person who passes away may have this mindset, do you know who the burden is on? It's on the family member. So I actually had a gentleman, it was just him and his wife and I was talking to him. He had actually requested some information for the final expense coverage. You know, I don't know if he thought it was free or what. So I went out and I saw him, I was talking to him. And um, he says to me, well, right now I don't have a dollar. I don't have nothing, nothing to give. And, you know, I started asking, well, you know, do you currently not have any coverage? And him nor his wife had any coverage. You know, and just pretty much asking him why, you know, he requested the information. So I guess maybe his perspective had changed about life insurance. And he said to me, my soul is going to be gone. I don't care what they do with my body. My wife can just throw it out somewhere. And I said, well, because of the country that we live in, that's actually not something that can be done legally. You know, you have to have some um, some uh, good buy wishes, something prepared when it comes to final expense coverage. You know, because he was like, well, it's not going to be a burden on my family, his wife. So, you know, I tried to share how I have couple of clients who do understand the burden how it does become a burden on the family and so you know he was telling me about this other assistance he needed and you know I tried to share some resources and he just you know he let me into his house and all of a sudden he turned very mad the next minute and I don't know if because I was like bringing insight just sharing the truth with them like well that's not something your wife is gonna do i mean if his wife mess with his body to be honest and try to do something like that then the police could come after her and think that you know obstruction of justice something she did or something like that anyhow here's what i want to get to in order for you to change your life when it comes to my, to my to as far as like your finances what you want to see different in your life is going to first start with your mind it's going to start with your mind y'all I am somebody who used to struggle I didn't even have five dollars five dollars to put in the gas tank just hoping and praying oh God please oh God please help me do y'all know before I came an entrepreneur and before I got into the life insurance business that the most high sent opportunities for 10 years 10 years, y'all. 10 years before I realized, okay, this is the path I'm supposed to go. What am I saying? The Most High, the Creator that I know, did not create you to be set up to struggle here. A poverty poor mindset has to change before you can see it in the natural. Get financial literacy. Get to the root of what you think about money, how you feel about money. Even the Bible tells you that money answers all things. But here's the thing. If you have a poor mindset and a lack mindset, you cannot attract abundance. 
You will not attract opportunities or if the opportunities come, you will reject them because it's not what you think the most high would send you to get out of that situation. So I am just so grateful that I stopped rejecting the path for me because it has allowed me to be in a place of where I'm finally, oh, not worrying about this bill, not worrying about that able to enjoy and do things in life, able to bless others and not get broke about it. Cause I used to have that issue. I used to have that issue. Cause I did, I had such a poor poverty mindset. So if you're watching this video and you're somebody been praying like God, help me with finances, how do I get out of this? One, I want you to be honest with yourself. Do you have any money wounds? Meaning, when you do receive money, are you using the money to feel something like a, a, a void in your soul? Okay. Are there money wounds? Two, what are your thoughts about money? Right. Did you grow up around people that said, oh, money is the root of all evil, which really the Bible says for the love of money is the root of all evil. Things like that will cause you to reject in regards to having money. And also cause you to self-sabotage to put yourself in positions to receive more money or for your finances to change. Three, do you believe you are worthy enough to receive more money? Yeah, I know a lot of you might say, yeah, I need more money. God, please send me money. You cannot hold and obtain anything you do not believe you're worthy of. In order for you to change your atmosphere from a place of lack struggle to abundance and overflow you first must first change your mind be honest about yourself what do you think deal so you can heal in your spirit in your mind it all must align you can't receive money in your mind for it to line on the outside if it don't happen here first be honest with yourself about management, financial literacy, all of these kind of things. All I want you to know is this is from somebody who believed that God loves the poor, that I was designed to struggle. It's not the case at all. I actually manifested, manifested where I live at now, y'all. I have so much peace. My atmosphere is so different. And I'm grateful to the most high. So let's be real. A lot of people have money struggles. But they don't know how to get out of it. But you can get out of it. And what I just shared with you. Is how I was able to get out of it. I love y'all. Let's continue to deal so we can heal. Y'all subscribe, comment, like, share. And as always. When you change your mind. You will then begin to see your world change around you. Peace.